uh, I heard my school was a co-educational boarding school founded in 1842, which is rather interesting. And I heard that a girl with whom I had acted once or twice at school, and, and rather successfully from my point of view, had gone to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and had decided to become a professional actress. And I was suddenly struck, like St. Paul, uh, uh, with this blinding light. Of course, I must be a, a, an actor. And actually, I hadn't realized what earn one's living at it. It was a, a, a most wonderful revelation. When you were accepted as a conscientious objector, they sent you to ENSA, or did you volunteer to go to ENSA? No, it was the other way around. <coughs> I volunteered to go to ENSA when I was uh, just after my 17th birthday. Somebody in the amateur theatre that I'd joined, in order to find out which was stage left and which was stage right, suggested to me that a way in might be through ENSA, whereas there were no men around, they were always looking for men. So I took a day off and, and went to Drury Lane and, and said, in effect, uh, I'd like to be an actor, please. And they said, in effect, jolly good, come on in. <laughs> When they discovered that I was, in fact, I intended to register, or had registered by then as a conscientious objector, they uh, chucked me out.